What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam and this is Van City Audi. In this video we're going to be performance testing my B9S4 again out here on the back roads of Mexico. Last time I was out here I was utilizing Integrated Engineering's Stage 1 E85 tune. Downgraded brakes, wheels, tires, and springs. That's it. All OEM hardware besides that. And I managed an 1143. Really impressive in my books. Today, we have additional hardware. I have an intercooler as well as an air intake system as well as a turbo inlet, all from Integrated Engineering. Now, in previous videos, I have showcased how well these products have worked. The intercooler, I data logged the intake air temps before and after the install showing what a decrease it made in those temps. The intake and the inlet we had on the dyno showing before and after results of what I was able to gain in terms of horsepower and torque. Now I'm gonna put it all together and see what I can do on the streets. What do you guys think? How much quicker, how much faster? That's what I'm here to find out. So now that I've talked you through the parts, let's see them up close and personal. Here is my integrated engineering air intake system. It is a thing of beauty. Here is my large and in charge turbo inlet from integrated engineering. Something that I did forget to mention, my apologies. I am using a CTS turbo charge pipe. We have upgraded these clamps since purchase, just so you guys know, because it was sliding off because of all the boost pressure. The other thing we have, is this massive, wonderful integrated engineering intercooler. So I've talked about my hardware, time for the software. You guys already know, stage one, E85 from IE. That hasn't changed for some time now. But my TCU, I have to dial it back a bit. Last time I was on track, the race launch for slicks only. Clearly I don't have slicks, clearly we're not on the drag strip. I have to drop it back down to the race launch. Now you might be asking me, why don't I use the aggressive launch that IE offers for a street launch? Because I tried that the first time out and I could tell that my setup could handle a bit more. It needed more torque off launch, it felt a little sluggish. So that racing launch was about bang on. The problem is, again, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I spun when I was on full boost. So what I'm gonna do to try to prevent that today, I hope it works, is I'm gonna do a pre-stage launch just like I do at the drag strip. I'm gonna scrub my tires, get a bit of heat in them, reload, and then do the quarter mile run in hopes that I've cleaned off the tires, get a bit of heat in them, and I get a bit better traction. I'm hoping it's only one and done today for everybody like I try to do. Last video out here was an exception because that launch was horrible. But if I get a little bit of a squirm, little, little bit of a wiggle under launch, I'm okay with that. Let's get to this quarter mile run. So as always when I launch my car, cars in dynamic, cars in sport, trash control all the way off. Pump up the brakes like a madman, push them to the floor, and this is gonna be my pre-stage launch. Oh Jesus, barely even spun if anything. <laughs> Probably could have done that and I would have been done with the run. Let's try that again. Quick reset, pumped up those brakes. Let's try the full quarter mile pass this time. Oh yeah, oh, feels healthy boy. It feels really good. There you have it. Full quarter mile pass on the back roads of Mexico. There I was minding my own business, quarter mile performance testing my B9S4 on the back roads of Mexico, as one does. And mother nature decided to open the skies and just piss rain <laughs> as I was coming to a stop. So I ran out, grabbed all my camera gear. We're gonna wrap up the rest of the video in the car so I don't get rained on anymore. Even if I wanted to do another quarter mile pass, I wouldn't be able to, because the roads are wet now. But I don't want to, because that was one of the best runs I've ever accomplished in this car, regardless of being on the track or on the street. The best zero to 60 I've ever accomplished on the track with a prepped surface, with drag radials, and with the TCU file that's meant for slicks was a 3.20 seconds. Today, 
with a TCU file that's called a race file, but not meant for slicks, with street tires on the street, I managed a 3.21 seconds. That's freaking nuts. That's probably by far the best launch I've ever had on the street. And I still felt like it could have done better. Like every drag racer says, there's more in it. <laughs> I felt like it could have launched even better, but I was really wowed by that. So I'm okay with a 3.210 to 60 on the street with street tires. Now time for what I consider to be even more impressive, my quarter mile time. Last time I was at the track, I performed my personal best. I was all OEM hardware under the hood. I didn't have the air intake, I didn't have the turbo inlet, and I didn't have the intercooler. I managed an 11.258, but that was on a prep surface that was with drag radials, and that was on a TCU file that allowed more torque on launch. Today, I have all of those bolt-on parts, but I'm on the street, on street tires, with a TCU file that doesn't allow as much torque. I managed on 11.27 seconds. Holy shitballs. <laughs> that could possibly be the quickest I've ever gone. And let me explain why I say that. At the drag strip, I get those slips from the track. Those time slips are consistently quicker than what it shows on draggy. That's an NHRA certified drag strip that I race at, the Titanium Strip Mission Raceway Park. That slip that showed that 11.258, my personal best, it showed 11.3 on Draggy. So if that's the case, could this run have actually been like an 11.24 and 11.23? If so, that's freaking badass. And I just went quicker than I ever have with the addition of these bolt-ons. So now to get back to the damn track and see what I'm able to do. The problem is the last two track days have been rained out. The weather has been really crappy this time of year. Normally it's beautiful here, but it's not. So if I can't get back to the track soon enough because it continues to rain, I guess we're gonna have to do more hardware modifications. <laughs> Why not? You guys enjoy watching it. I have fun while doing it. So we might as well still tinker away in hopes of making the car quicker and faster. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care.